What is up fellow explorers of the Aurora Valley, my name is Sea the Leaker, and in this video, I'm back with another great concept video, but these aren't all concepts, some of these concepts are confirmed, and will actually come to the game, so this will be a pretty epic video, I hope you will enjoy it. When I think about the first concept, I'm like, creative destruction, why on god haven't you guys done this yet? And that is adding new emotes. Because at this moment, we have only 6 for the male and 6 for the female gender. And that is nothing compared to Fortnite and even the Creative Destruction Chinese version, Biltopia, has more emotes than this. So Creative Destruction, please listen and add more emotes. The next concept is about what happens when you win a game. Because these days, when you win a game, it's kind of ends like comedic. You just get this screen and it says, one, you're the star. That's it. Not even epic music, not even a slow-mo. So the thing is, if Creative Destruction would add something like a slow-mo effect, it would be great. But even better would be when you even have the control over your screen. Like when, when you win, you can still build and do an emote for a short period of time. That would actually be really nice. The next concept isn't actually a concept, but it's something that is actually really weird. Because if you go over to the depot, you will see the menu tracks. But if you tap on it and tap on the little icon to send you to the mall, there's nothing there. And nothing has ever been said about tracks ever before. Nothing has ever been said about tracks. There's nothing in the entire game that lead to tracks, but it's still it's in the game, which is really weird. This concept is about adding new guns and patching floor ramp. So, you're in luck, because a new weapon is actually coming May, May 14th. So, it's kind of a double barrel shotgun. I made a video on it. It will be in the channel description if you want to check it out. But, patch floor wall, or as you said, floor ramp, which is not how you call it, but it's wall floor. If you guys are not familiar with it, it's when you build a wall and then a floor and then a wall and then a floor, you get insane high ground. Here's a clip. So yeah, as you can see, you can gain high ground with this tactic really easily. But that's the thing, you don't need any skill for it and it's just... I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just not a good thing to have in the game. It kind of ruins the idea of building and having actual skill. The next concept is from D Modi. He says they should make it so you can't carry every single grenade and just have them separately in your loadout. I think that's a really good idea, but they changed it on purpose to not take any space in your inventory. Um, also, he says, nerf turrets accuracy. That is extremely true, because the turrets have pretty much aimbot, and there's no way of escaping them except for building or hiding. And just the accuracy of turrets needs to be nerfed, because it for the damage it deals, which is 9, and the fire rate it fires, which is also pretty high, it is way, way, way too accurate. He also says that the lag needs to be reduced while someone else has a higher building level. That's true, because when someone builds with a high building level, for some reason, it gives a lot of lag, and you are the victim of it, even though if he has a good phone, you are the victim of the lag. He also says, buff FMG slightly. I kind of agree with that, but I also kind of don't, because the headshot damage especially is already really good. He also says that we need a new map, that's probably coming in Season 11, We at least we hope that. Also. Fix get random game crashing. I know it's a really annoying thing, and I don't know if they're actually working on it, but I believe they do. Then he also said, buff the Stinger SMG. It's really hard to find, and the damage isn't great. I totally agree with that. When I find the SMG Stinger thing, and which is actually kind of hard indeed, I never use it or even pick it up, because both the accuracy and the damage is pretty much garbage. He also says that they need to make the airstrike circle smaller. That is so true, because now that the altars came out, people were camping at the altars, just, just looting until they have six airstrikes and spam them over the end circle, which is not fun. He also says, definitely make more edit options. I totally agree with that, especially with the wall. 
For some reason, they did a lot of options with the floor, but not a lot of options with the wall. I kind of made a concept in a thumbnail, which may, which they obviously won't do because that will be copyright of Fortnite. But I really do agree with adding new building styles. The last concept of today is night mode. And as I said at the beginning of the video, it's almost kind of confirmed because when LSD, not let, went to the headquarters of Creative Destruction, he asked one of the developers, will the reboot card and nighttime be coming? And he said to both of them, yes, we are planning on doing that. And since the reboot thing is already here, I suspect that night mode will also be coming really soon. And also, a YouTuber with a lot of subscribers, it's TD, made a nighttime trailer uh, like three days ago. And I'm gonna put it in the video right now. And this will also be the end of the video. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash like, subscribe, and enjoy this trailer.